Alright, so now in this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step build of this circuit so it's easier to follow along. But here's the uh, full schematic of what this circuit is. And I'm just going to quickly demonstrate what the circuit is. So right now that LED is on. When I turn my lamp to its lowest setting, the LED stays on. I'm going to turn the lamp up one setting. Now you see that the LED is off. We're at the medium brightness. Now I put it to the lamp's full brightness. And of course the LED stays off. So the LED being on or off is determined by how much light we have coming to the light dependent resistor. Alright, so now we're going to begin with the transistor. The transistor is the only thing that actually turns on and off. The LED turns on and off because the transistor is on or off. So the transistor is the thing that we're actually turning on and off. The uh, LED is just responding to whether the transistor is on or off like a switch. So the uh, transistor here is a bipolar junction transistor the NPN type. There's NPN and PNP. You can tell which one you need in a schematic diagram by which way the arrow is going. So I have the arrow pointing out so it's not pointing in. NPN. That's one way to remember that. If it was pointing in it would be a PNP transistor. So moving along. This is a 2N3904. That's the uh, name of the transistor and I think every bipolar junction transistor that starts with 2N, the uh, right one here, the flat side's facing us by the way, you go by when you're looking at the flat side, the uh, right one here is the collector, the middle one is the base, and the left one is the emitter. And as you can see the left pin here, the emitter, we have connected directly to ground. Alright, so now moving along, we're going to add our load. So, I shifted the board a little bit, the pin layout lines up with the schematic diagram a little bit better. We've got collector on top, collector on top. And so now we're going to attach our load. And so the LED connects to the collector of the transistor, but it's the cathode. The LED is polarized. The shorter lead, if you haven't cut them, is the cathode. And let me double check. Yep, the uh, flat side, the flat edge, is also an indicator of the cathode if you have cut the leads down and uh, so I'll put it there I don't usually check whether there's a flat edge I usually just go by the lead length because I don't trim them so we got that there now we need a resistor to protect the LED I'm going to use a 220 ohm resistor because we're using a 5 volt power supply when the transistor is on it should be on completely it should really be blocking practically no current. So the LED will take the 5 volts if you don't have a protective resistor. So we're going to use 220 ohms and that's going to go from the anode, the long lead of the LED, to the positive rail there. So now we have a path here but if I turn the power on the LED is not going to turn on because the transistor is normally off and so it's off right now it's not conducting we need to get a positive voltage of about 0.6 volts at least to the base of the transistor for it to start conducting and so we're going to move along to that part of the circuit now and so that brings us to the final part of the circuit so I have a 15 kilo ohm resistor here and a light dependent resistor and as you can see here the 15 kilo ohm resistor goes from the base the middle pin as you can see there to the positive rail so what we're building right now is a voltage divider with these two components so right now I put that there and if I turn the power on now we have 5 volts applied to the base of the transistor the resistor is just limiting the current but uh, there's plenty voltage to get the transistor to turn on and conduct uh, freely so we're going to turn the power off now and we're going to add the light dependent resistor which as you can see also connects to the base but then it connects to ground so anytime you see two resistors one going from positive 
and then connecting to another resistor which goes directly to negative to the ground that's a voltage divider you'll have a fraction of the voltage at this point and so we're gonna take this light dependent resistor and I'm gonna jump the gap to over here and put it in the negative rail and it doesn't want to go into that slot for some reason I'll move down one slot so there we go and now we have our voltage divider so I turn the power on the LED is off because I have the lamp at the brightest setting but as soon as I turn the lamp off the LED comes on and of course we have to get to the middle setting the second brightest setting for it to turn on I could also cover the light dependent resistor with my uh, finger block the light from it and the LED will turn on so you can see that working without the major light differences but uh, that's all there really is to this the light dependent resistor is really a sensor a light sensor for this circuit and uh, so the sensor using the other resistor gets us a voltage to the base of the transistor right now the voltage is being pulled down by the light dependent resistor so it's below 0.6 volts somewhere below there when I cover it now the light dependent resistor has more resistance I'll just do that it has more resistance so it's not pulling down to negative as much now it's being pulled more towards positive so it's higher than about 0 0.6 0 0.7 volts and the LED is on alright so now I realize you really couldn't see where I was inserting these last two components the lead so we'll zoom in and take a closer look so here you can see the middle pin of the bipolar junction transistor and PN type collector up there base in the middle and emitter down here at the bottom so the uh, photo resistor there of course one side's connected to the base these are not polarized by the way either one of them doesn't matter which lead goes to which side but I uh, got one lead to the base of the transistor the other lead to the negative the ground rail and then the uh, resistor here we have again connected to the base that's why it forms a voltage divider and to the other polarity of the power source again that's why it's a voltage divider one resistor to positive one resistor to negative but the other sides come together so we'll get a fraction of the power source voltage and uh, that voltage will determine whether the transistor turns on or off and the amount of current they let go from the base to emitter at uh, the base there that will determine how much current can flow through the transistor ideally with a transistor switch you want them to uh, put enough current to the base because you'll get probably about a hundred times the current going from collector to emitter but of course there comes a point where the transistor is just conducting freely and so the more current to the base the better the transistor conducts once it conducts freely then it's saturated that's the term for it it's conducting as well as it ever will and so even if you put more current you know that's that's it it's gonna let whatever current is available from collector to emitter and that's gonna be set by this uh, resistor there and a little bit by the LED because that's our load so having uh, the resistor and the LEDs also protecting the transistor but uh, in any case Hopefully this step-by-step -step build was helpful for you, and uh, hopefully I explained things well. This was kind of a rushed uh, project, so uh, I may just uh, redo it again and try to do a better job. But uh, anyways, hope this was still helpful for you.